Hello and welcome to Radiant Station. In today's tutorial, we are going to generate spaceship. You're right, spaceship. I'm going to generate, not model. Now, when you purchase this add-on, which is called Shipwright, that's the Blender file that you will receive. And this is the initial look that you will have of the file. Let me turn on our shortcut key so you can follow along. Of course, once you have the add-on purchased, let's render this out. And that's the spaceship straight away off the bat that you get in the file. Now, I'm going to change the render engine to EV since that's uh, it's going to be easier for my laptop to coop up with the settings. Now, let's go into the shading tab. And here we are going to change the hull pattern since in EV slight adjustments need to be made for the colors. As you have seen, let me render out in the screen so that you can see the spaceship and the changes which will be occurring to it while we play around with the color shades. Of course, I'm going to pump this up to 0.7. And the third color tone, I'll see something about 0.6 or 0.7. Of course, to your liking, you want to keep it to two shade tones. You can do that as well. But I, for now, like this color tones. And there you have it. As simple as that, it straight away generates a spaceship. Of course, now, when you go into the layout tab, we can see the seed input, which is basically altering the numbers here, will randomly generate a new spaceship every time. Now, this one requires more numbers of the shape generator as well. So, let's skip this and let's decide which spaceship are we going to be slightly adjusting to our liking. I think let's see what other shapes we can generate. This looks nice. I believe I'm going to be going with this one. Now the shape generator, this one, if you pump up the value, is going to generate random shapes around our model. And you can alter it to your likings. Now I do like this spaceship, but I believe... Let me see what other numbers we can play around with. That's good enough for now. And with this spaceship, it seems that the bottom looks more of the top in my part. Therefore, I'm going to flip the entire model by 180 degrees and going to make it look like this. This is more of a concept art, if you might say. But the best part is how easy and how fast it is to generate spaceships if you have a scene that you need a lot of spaceships flying about having a battle this is the best add-on that you need to get your hands on because modeling an object which looks like this is going to take a lot of time and by the time you are done with the spaceship you might not like the final output since you could not figure it out what was the final image that you have in mind. Nevertheless, let's flip this off uh, by 180 degrees and now let's add in slight adjustments to our model because I like to always select where our cockpit is going to be and slightly color the windscreens of that object. Uh, that's the one that I'm going to be coloring slightly from the front. Let's go into the edit mode. Of course, you can see it's being mirrored on both sides. Let's see if we select these faces. Do I need to select the ones at the bottom? Maybe it's going to get too much, but let's see. I'm going to go with this, these faces. Maybe I'll select even the top one. And now we'll be adding in a new material to this from our properties panel. New assign. Let's go to the shading tab and let's see what simple colors will we be adding here. 
Uh, that's the shape. Now let's of course assign this. And I don't like the additional part which is at the bottom. I'm going to deselect those faces. I'm going to undo this for now. And I'm only going to select the top faces. Let's see how that goes. Assign. And I'm already liking it. Let's go into the darker tone. And that looks great. Perfect. Out of the edit mode. Now, of course, each of these objects are separate. We can adjust their locations and size. And, of course, the lettuce that you see around, which is this one. If you go into the edit mode. We can select these vertices and pull them out and you'll be amazed how it alters the object overall appearance. Now I'm going to be stretching it out, making it more directed outwards from the front. And I'm probably going to be raising the cockpit of the command center of the spaceship. And just to show you, we can even do that for the rear of the spaceship. By selecting in these vertices as well as these ones, I'm going to pull these out to give it a broader base. But of course, since we are doing some alterations, if we select the black textured objects that you see at the back, it will slightly be different if you go into the edit mode, you'll see just in a minute. Now, if I go into the edit mode, it will have the original object location is going to be the place where it was initially generated you see there now of course that's the one that you'll be selecting but in edit mode for some reason it's being generated in its original place nevertheless it's no need to panic we'll just select these bring it to whatever location that you are going with and i'm going to be narrowing it it somewhere about here Of course, this is in the edit mode because of the center of origin is always in the center. If you are not in the edit mode, you will be moving both objects on the same direction rather than in the opposite directions. Now, let's raise this up a little bit so that it's you can see what I'm going with. Great. And now you will see uh, one thing I like to add here is if you want to make changes to your object, which is basically this is the rendered out image and it looks amazing. Now, if you make any changes in the layout tab, all the editing that you've done will be erased. Now, for instance, if you just go and pump up some values. Let's go in with these ones. This is the axis where and these are the mirrored axes. If you want something to be mirrored on the Z or Y axis or if you want to change the dimensions. Let's see if I just move this to let's say 7. It's going to stretch it in the Y axis and all the alterations that we've done to our object will be gone. You see the shading that was done on the on the cockpit as well as these models have come to their original places. Now if we go into the edit mode you can see that the original place was there. Let's do some slight adjustments. Narrow this down and now you will see the original shape in the edit mode is where it was generated initially. Nevertheless, I'm going to undo this quite a few times to get back to our object which we just created. There it is. That's the shape that I'm going to be going with for this tutorial. And you'll be, and you've already seen how simple it is to create or generate one of these spaceships. And then you can, of course, adjust the sizes to your liking and you can have an entire fleet of aircraft or spaceships and go on a Star Trek or even a battle so to say and this is just a slight animation if you want to go be going with in the animations tab and that's how I have might be doing this in animation of this sort or I'll just be keeping it simple and just add in some simple uh, 
uh, easy to create meteors. Now that's the rendered out image once again. So there you have it. Now if you want to get this add-on, Mark Kings North on the Blender Market, he has a couple of add-ons and this is the one that we are going for. It's it has a variance in the price. I'll tell you why. It has hull texture inside. It has the shape generator and plating generator. Individually, if you buy all of these, it's going to cost you $58. But this one, only with $55, you can get everything in case if you don't have the other three. Now, the best part is if you have already purchased the add-on like myself as i've covered some other tutorials with shape generator and plating this is the one that you're going to be going with nine dollars but nevertheless if you haven't if you have all which is hull texture as well this is the one that you're going to be paying with but the best part is in case if you haven't bought the three add-ons which is the hull textures the plating generators and the shape generators $55 purchase it and you will get a 10% discount or I believe it's a 20% discount straight away go in add it to your cart and you are going to go to your checkout page and here don't forget to use the discount coupon it's called radiant station all caps Straight away, $55 is your original price. Apply the coupon, and once you claim it, $55 is going to go down to $44. Straight away, $11 discount. Utilize it before it runs out since the, uh, uh, the uh, code is going to be only active till March. Therefore, utilize this if spaceships is something that you want to be working with, if there's a project that you're working on. Very easy to generate complicated shapes and of course you can add further greebles to it to modify your spaceships it's amazing to get the abstract done in the very first start so thank you for watching stay tuned toodles